We back, we back, we back. What up, though? It's the Boston Clinic and more. Y'all know what it is. Your boy, CJ Goodfella. And, uh, you know, Jerry Swift, her, Aries Lonnie Laura, big 154-pound junior middleweight unification class, April 7th. We already knew that. We just didn't have a venue. And about a month out, they finally give us a venue. It was, it was rumored that the StubHub Center was going to land this fight in this card in Carrollton, California. But they're going to stay out west and do it at Las, in Las Vegas at the Hard Rock Casino and hotel and on the undercard is a rematch between uh Caleb Truex, IBF champion, taking on James DeGale. We know Truex pulled off the upset uh of the year last year, one of them beating uh James DeGale in the UK and taking the strap. And uh DeGale took quite a beating and he got a lot of heart because, you know, he didn't, you know, go down. You know, he's a former gold medalist. Obviously he was a former world champion now. It's a good undercard. It's a good solid card. Um you know, I thought this fight should have went on the East Coast for, uh, I thought it should have went on the East Coast for, you know, you know, Swift Heard, the fight down, down there in D.C. But, you know, this is neutral. Hard Work Cafe is going to be promoted by TGB Promotions and associations with or co-promoted with Mayweather Promotions. You know, Mayweather Promotions is the choice of promoter for Premier Boxing Champions in Las Vegas. So, you know, they got that locked down and um, it's a good fight. You know, definitely, uh, you know, it's a good card. We see if DeGale can bounce back and get back to his gold medal form and his ambitions that we have for him in that fight. And uh, maybe he was overlooking Truex along with the injury because he did have a shoulder injury. He, he had been dealing with it for quite some time, went on and got the surgery. I think he came back too quick. But, you know, give credit to what credit is due. Truex did the job. DeGale had a lot of heart, you know, not, you know, going down and being knocked out. So the rematch should be very, very interesting and, and hopefully chunky, which is David DeGale, ain't overlooking Caleb Truex. Um, if you did the first time and looking towards David Benavidez, because that's what the plan that Al Heyman had laid out is for Gail to have beat, you know, uh, Caleb Truex and put him in there with David Benavidez. But both of them had to do a rematch because um, Benavidez and Garville was close in some people's opinion, the first one. And obviously Caleb Truex trashed James Gale. But, uh, you know, Lauren Hurd is a fight that people are anticipating. And, uh, was a, you know, you know, I, I wanted Jamel to get get a big fight, but at the end of the day, um, you know, most people think Arizona Large is going to box circles around just with her. Just with her already know what Lara is known for. He wants to, you know, bring uh, what Angulo brought to the table, but times 10. And, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, it's going he got to work on some head movement, some feints. You know, he didn't have a big amateur background in just with her. So he's definitely learning on the job. And um, he's huge, you know, and Lara is older and it's time to put the pressure on Laura and do if, if you can take the shots that Ndugulo took, you know, and, and, and kind of, you know, roll and move your head and, and create some type of defense, you know, you know, Hurt might have a, have a shot here, man. He might have a big shot here. Most people, you know, think the Cuban pedigree of, of Laura is going to be too much. And, you know, Austin Trout was outboxing, you know, Jared Swift Hurt, Tony Harrison was as well. But his physical size and his pressure and his power uh, was just too much. And they broke down and couldn't handle you know, you know, his physicality in the late rounds. And with Eric Lonnie Laura being very being an older fighter, and we see him getting wore out by Angulo until he landed that punch that put a hemoto on Angulo's head. Um, you know, what know who knows what could have happened. You know, I think Har you know, Laura I mean, I think Hurd might not be as big a puncher as Angulo, but um, you know, he's physically strong and who knows, you know, as old as Eric Lonnie Laura is, his legs can give out at any time. Her wanted to go for Laura first, then he wanted to go for Jamel Charlo. So we'll see. This is an excellent card. Uh, Hard Rock Casino and Hotel in Vegas. I mean, it's, I guess it's an okay venue. Um, so they're going to do it big. And um, I look forward to tuning in and, and watching this card. And both fights intrigue me. And, um, you know, God bless everybody. Hopefully everybody come out to fight safe. And, you know, we after that, you know, two or three weeks later after that, um, or two weeks later after that, we get Broner and Omar Figueroa. I mean, Ronan and Jesse Vargas in uh in Brooklyn. So, you know, Showtime's on fire while HBO only had three fights in the first half of the year so far. So, uh, you know, was definitely looking on up and up for Showtime and Premier Boxing Champion. You know, and Showtime got a lot of great shows coming as well too. We gone.